Beginning at the car park at Lanthwaite Green Farm along the B5289, the route begins a direct ascent over Windbend straight to the 707 metre summit of Whiteside. A spectacular ridge is followed over numerous peaks to reach Hope Gill Head before turning south down to Coldale Hawes and starting the long ascent to the highest point on the entire walk at the top of Grassmoor. A short backtrack takes me to the ridge path down to Lad House and along Cinderdale Beck before returning along the road. Lanthwaite Green Farm sits at the very northern end of Crummock Water, close to Lawton Vale, and is the perfect place to start a walk in the northwestern fells. This exciting route starts by crossing the open pastures towards Lisebeck and Gaskale Gill. Just to the west lies an ancient homestead. This possible Iron Age farm looks to have consisted of up to five hut circles, set within a small rampart and enclosure. Very little remains above ground, but traces do remain for those who look hard enough, and when seen from the air, the traces are far more obvious. After crossing Lisebeck via the footbridge, the path takes a sharp turn upwards. There's no exaggeration to say this path is steep, but it's easy to follow all the way to the top. As you reach a short section of slightly flatter ground, there is a small cairn marking the 413 metre summit of Wind Ben, a smaller subsidiary peak of Whiteside. The view is really extensive from this minor peak, with Crefell clearly defined to the north beyond the Solway Firth, and the vista that takes in a part of Crumock Water, Melbreak, and the more distant Lowers Water. The path continues through the heather to a rocky knoll to offer one of the most dramatic views so far along the walk. This spectacular valley is Gaskale Gill, deeply carved and flanked by towering jagged crags rising 500 feet into the sky. The final push to Whiteside continues up a steep, loose path with the occasional rocky section, but once at the top the view is breathtaking. The distant mountains of Skiddaw, Fellbarrow, Blakefell and Grassmoor all perfectly framed. Temptation is to linger, but the ridge route to Hope Gill Head is an exciting walk with dramatic steep drops and jaw dropping scenery. Additional summits are reached as you follow the ridge route east. These, although not Wainwrights, are listed as Burkett Fells, of which there are 541 in the Lake District National Park. 
They offer a more comprehensive list of all the peaks above 1,000 feet, and some can offer views available nowhere else in the country, like this sheer drop from Whiteside's east top. The narrow ridge linking Whiteside with Hopegill Head is an exciting walk with some minimal easy scrambling and glorious views that change with every step. The summit of Hopegill Head is a remarkable one, a narrow top with plunging, near vertical cliffs on its eastern side. The mountain has two ridges connected to its summit, one I've just crossed and the other heads north to Ladyside Pike. The views from here are excellent, with Grisdale Pike to the east and the northwestern fells to the south. The path over Sand Hill is an easy one with minimal ascent and effort before the longer descent down to Coaldale Hawes. The superb mountain scenery in front and down the full length of Coaldale towards Blencathra make every step worthwhile and it's around here that you are more likely to encounter other walkers as this path forms part of the ever popular Coaldale Horseshoe. The final ascent up to Grassmoor is an exhausting one, not because of its steepness, but because you have just negotiated several miles of some of the toughest terrain in the northwestern fells. And it's just about here that the weather has taken a turn for the worse. As I reached the vast plateau of Grassmoor, the cloud has dropped and completely covered the summit, reducing visibility down to around 50 metres. Thankfully, I know this summit, and I have a map and compass to navigate my way to the summit shelter. A stark contrast to just an hour ago, and it shows how quickly the weather can change here in the lakes. Having backtracked slightly to pick up the descent along Lad Howes, I finally leave the cloud behind to start enjoying the views of the southern end of Crumock Water. With its countless zigzags and loose path, the route down is a little tricky and quite exhausting, but does get you off the fell rather quickly in the event of bad weather. The last summit of today is that of Lad House. At 426 metres above sea level, it offers a superb view over Crummock Water, to the distant Lowers Water, and the dozens of fells that surround this beautiful valley.
A grassy pass through thick bracken leads you down alongside Cinderdale Beck with views to some of its stunning waterfalls. As you reach the valley floor and ford the Beck, the route simply follows the road back to Lanthwaite Green. <laughs>